Yeah. What's your name? I'm Stavrula. Nice to meet you. Oh my god, where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, born and raised. Oh my god, fun. Do you mind if we take a walk? Of course. Come, follow me around campus. Awesome. So what year are you? So I'm a 1L right now, and I'm just starting my second semester here at Loyola. Amazing. Did you take a gap year, or did you apply straight from undergrad? Yes, I actually did take a gap year. I tell people I did to go see the world, but honestly, I just want to get my LSAT score higher. <laughs> so, worked out in both ways. Amazing. Um, so, you mentioned traveling the world. So, is that what you did during your gap year? Yes. Um, I actually went for a vacation to Greece, and then ended up living there for six months. And then I went for a vacation in Madrid, and I ended up teaching English there for six months. Wow, that is awesome. You are just so accomplished. So, there's a lot to do if you don't go to law school. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Um, on that note, what field would you go into if not law? Honestly, after teaching in Madrid elementary school, I absolutely adored it. I think kids are the funniest thing, so I think teaching. <laughs> nice. Um, so why did you choose to go to law school? Uh, to play on the basketball court, obviously. <laughs> um, I did because I'm super interested in human rights, and so I think one of the biggest vehicles that we can use to support human rights is through the law. Very nice. So, um, you know, what field would you go into if not law? What field? Um, I think teaching. Very nice. Very nice. So why did you choose Loyola Law School? So if I'm being honest, it's the only law school I got into. <laughs> but it was COVID, so it was like super difficult to get in. But they gave me a nice scholarship as well, which really helps. Beautiful. And I'm happy to be in LA here. We love that. We love that. It's a great choice. <laughs> um, so where were you when you found out that you got into law school? Oh my God, I had just woken up. <laughs> and I had actually gotten a rejection from Arizona State because I had sent them the wrong application. Oh gosh. And so I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to get it. I thought I had sent the wrong application to Leola as well. And I had woken up and I checked my email and they're like, congrats. And I'm like, Pfft. There's no way. That's bullshit. Like, congrats, you applied. Like, that's it. <laughs> um, how did people react when you told them that you got in? Oh, my God. They were so happy. All my friends were like, of course you got in. Like, what do we expect? I didn't know. Like, that was the only law school I got into. So, we were all super happy. Very cute. Um, hey, where are we right now? So, now we're on the basketball court, and there's a batting cage over there. Wow, your law school has a basketball court and a batting cage? I know, it's crazy. And then we have, like, we're in LA, so we have nice lunch tables. One day we're going to play soccer on the field. One day. And every Friday, uh, the kids and Michelle play basketball. <laughs> we love that. Here, should we go sit down? Yeah, let's go for it. Speaking about campus, what's your favorite spot here? Honestly. I love this grassy area because you don't see it now, but the sun's always shining. So I always try to get the group to do a nice suntan. Very nice. The grass is very green. I know. I don't know what they do to it. <laughs> um, so what's your favorite thing to do on campus in between classes? Oh my god, just tell stories with my friends. All we <laughs> do is tell them each other most irrelevant stories. We don't study or anything during class. It's a good little break. It sounds like you have really cool stories. <laughs> Um, so are you liking law school so far? God, I love it. I really didn't expect to. I told all my friends, oh, I'm going to drop out after first semester. And then first semester was cool and my friends were great. So it's really great. Awesome. So what would you say a typical law student is like? <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm pretty lucky because my law group of friends are very chill and we don't talk about law school all the time. But I would say like they have their shit together. They can like they're very dedicated to their work um, and they're very curious. Ooh, we love that. So is there a stereotype of law students that holds true? Um, in the sense that we are type A people, definitely. Totally relatable. <laughs> um, so what was your favorite fall semester class? God, I loved civil procedure, which is like the procedure of the law, how to get the law, how to get cases through court. It sounds so boring, but our professor is so passionate about it. He makes everyone love it. Wow, Civ Pro, huh? Civ Pro. That's controversial. <laughs> um, what class are you most excited about this semester? I'm in a really cool international law class, and we actually talk about relative, relevant events and like the Iran nuclear deal and stuff. So I'm excited about that. Snazzy. <laughs> What's your typical class size? I would say there are about 70 to 80 students, which is actually great because it's large enough where you don't feel like you're seeing the same people every day, 
but it's small enough in the sense you can kind of know everyone's name and you always say hi. Are cold calls really scary? Okay, honestly, <laughs> no. The first day all of us were going in, we were so scared, but now it's like, if you don't know the answer to something, you're like, Professor, give it to me. I, I <laughs> Let's not waste anyone's time. What were you most scared about when coming into law school? Honestly, I was very scared of my personality changing. Before law school, everyone's like, don't go to law school. You're gonna become less bubbly, less happy. You're gonna become so depressed. I'm just as equally as bubbly and even like happier, if anything. We could totally see that right now. <laughs> hey, if you don't mind me asking, what's that tree over there? Oh, so it's called the knowledge tree. And rumor has it, if you sit under it, you'll ace all your exams. Should we go see it? Let's do it. Okay. So speaking about exams and acing them, are you a gunner? Oh God, no. <laughs> if anyone called me that, that'd be the worst thing possible. But I definitely raised my hand once a class, you know, to help out. Do you think your classmates think you're a gunner? Oh. I really hope not. I should definitely ask and like check now that you have me second guessing myself. Um, would you say your school is pretty brutally competitive or do you guys help each other out? No, luckily it's a very supportive. Um, it's a, oh my God, I, this is a Yeah, letter. what is that? A letter, actually, you guys should check out the architecture of Loyola as well. It's very simplistic design. These are like the Greek columns. And the architect of them made them simple design because he wanted to make the law school and law accessible to everyone. So just fun fact about Loyola. Very nice. I don't know what this is though. Um, what was your question? Um, I was just asking, you know, would you say that your school is brutally competitive or do you guys help each other out? No, luckily Loyola is such a supportive environment. I've heard it's like the people at the top law schools in LA want to be at Loyola and the people at the less prestigious law schools in LA want to be at Loyola because it's a perfect mix of everything. Seems like the place to be. Yep. Um, would you share your outlines with a classmate if they asked you? Definitely. <laughs> I mean, but unless it's a gunner. But the gunner's not at them. Is law school clicky? Um, yes and no. It's clicky in a sense. If you see there, like everyone has their little table, their little group spot. You can always go up to someone and like just sit down and talk to them. Cool. What's something you know that you wish you knew before law school? Reading quickly is a very good skill to have. I think we read like a hundred pages at night. So thank God I had worked a lot on my reading skills. Nice. Um, what song do you think describes Loyola Law School? Okay, so I actually asked my friends this because I was wondering it. And our civil procedure professor, who we all love, has a Spotify and Apple Music account. He has a fantastic album. It's kind of like Neil Young vibes. So his name is Alan Nines. You should check it out. What an icon. He is. How is law school compared to what you see in movies? Okay, so you've seen Legally Blonde where everyone's super scary and like strict and doesn't smile, except for Reese Witherspoon, but it's <laughs> nothing like that. Nice. What's your favorite thing about law school so far? Honestly, I love, hmm. One of my friends, but I don't want to just do that. It's also, <laughs> I think, like, just the topics you discuss. You know, we're talking about real world things, like the law. So it's pretty cool. Nice. This tree is really neat. Do you want to check out the rest of campus? Yes, follow me. Awesome. So what's an essential law school item? Your laptop. And one note on your laptop. It's like this Microsoft note-taking advice, uh, device that helps. No pun intended, but noted. <laughs> um, so are you doing any extracurriculars at the moment? Am I? Um, I like to be outdoors a lot, so, and I like to hang out with my friends a lot, so I'll call those extracurriculars. But clubs I'm a part of, I guess, I'm part of the Women's Law Society with Michelle. Wow. I'm part of the ski club. Ooh. And I'm part of the public interest there. Very neat. So how is it like making friends in law school? Honestly, you just kind of go up to people and say hi. We can say hi to my friends now. Oh, cool. Okay. Miss Popular over here. Uh, we try, we try. Hey, you guys. Hi. Hi. Awesome. So is LA weather always this sunny? Honestly, yeah. I haven't been here for six years. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> they seem like cool people. <laughs> They're the best. Yes, LA weather is always 70 degrees and sunny. Look, everyone's just enjoying their lunch. So cute. So you mentioned that you were in Michigan. How yes. do you like LA? Oh my God, it's amazing. You really can't complain about this weather. Every day is like being on vacation. 
Nice. Uh, so it seems like this is a library. Do you yeah. like studying at home or in the school library? Honestly, I like to study at home a lot because I have a standing desk and a yoga ball, but our library <laughs> is great as well. Cute. So how much reading do you have per day? Okay, well, let's go to the Rose Garden. Ooh. Um, honestly, it's a lot, but it's doable. Okay. You only really, you only have class for half a day, so the other half you can do your own thing and read. Nice. So are you an early bird or a night owl? I'm definitely an early bird. I wake up at like 7 every morning just because I can't stay up past 11. Yikes. Are you sleep deprived? No. No. Thank <laughs> God. I always make sure, number one, get seven hours of sleep at least. It'll help throughout everything in law school. Nice. So you seem really accomplished. What's the best tip for <laughs> juggling social life in school? Oh God. I wouldn't say super accomplished, but having your priorities straight and everything will follow. So my priority one is my health, number two is my school, and three is my friends. And somehow you can juggle them all. <laughs> nice. Another just pretty area of campus. We wow. Call the Rose Garden, but the rows are dead. So it's okay. Are these ping pong tables? Yes. We Do you play? play. Um, I don't, but Michelle's really good. She's good at everything. <laughs> Um, so do you live in an off-campus apartment or commute from home? So I actually commute from home, which is only 20 minutes away. And it's super nice because I live on the west side, so there's nice green grass and trees everywhere. Nice. You want to take a seat on this bench? Perfect. Awesome. So, um, what's the social scene here on campus? The social scene? Everyone's very focused on your studies. You can see, like, during the breaks, they'll study if they didn't have time to do anything, but everyone's pretty happy, honestly, to be here. Nice. Um, do you think law school is like the LSAT? Okay. It might be a hot take, but a little bit in the sense that for reading, for reading comprehension, you have to read a lot and comprehend it. And you kind of have to really think logically and sort of follow the steps and see what the, I forgot what the LSAT had, but like see what the main point of something is. Cool. Um, are you happy here? Oh God, I'm so happy here. I literally could not have asked for a better law school and a better first year. Um, what's your go-to hype song before taking an exam? <laughs> it's actually Ape Shit by Beyonce and Jay-Z. You just kind of get excited. Very cultured. <laughs> um, so do law students party? <laughs> yes. I'm gonna just say yes like me and my group and I will go out normally but like if it's the month before exams no then we're very study mode but otherwise yes we like to have fun nice so what's the dating culture in law school mm, I definitely don't date anyone in law school I that's <laughs> a little red flag for me but I meet people out and that sort of thing but it is hard to juggle your family your friends school and a dating life not saying it's not possible though um one to ten how attractive is your student body <sighs> I think the girls are stunning. I'll give them a 10 out of 10. The men though, um, might need a little help. <laughs> um, awesome. So what's your favorite food spot on campus or nearby? My favorite food spot? Hmm. Honestly, we have a great cafeteria that'll get you whatever you need, but should we go check it out? Yeah, let's do it. Um, but otherwise we live in down, we're in downtown LA. So there's great taco places and that sort of thing. Yum. Uh, so. Oh. I found a rocket. Awesome. Should we give it a go? Let's try. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not fantastic though, so. You're good. Oops, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, okay, so I was gonna wonder, I was wondering. <laughs> wow, you got me going crazy here. Um, <laughs> oh, look at that. There oh. you go. Okay, I can answer and do this. All right, my next question was, uh, is that your typical law school outfit? Um, honestly, yes. Me and my girlfriends, at least, like to dress up a little bit for school. Especially after the pandemic, you need an excuse. Very nice, I agree. So, um, on that same note, do you feel like you need to dress professionally to class, or are people dress pretty casual? No, there's a wide, I would say there's a wide array. Like, people wear sweatshirts and sweatpants, and the people dress up a little bit. Just depends on what you want. What are you hoping law school will provide for you in the future? Um, I'm really hoping it provides me a big avenue for other career paths as well, because I'm not a very decisive or committed person, so I definitely want a big range of things I can do while supporting myself. Nice. So Should we check out the fountain? Ooh, I would love that. <laughs> um, so would you say your professors are approachable outside of class? 
Oh, absolutely. They will respond to your emails within an hour. Um, honestly, they're just so happy after being after COVID that they will help you no matter what. You can approach them after class. Some one of them has like lunch hours, like Saturdays and Sundays. The civil procedure one. He's great. <laughs> he seems like a cool guy. These are our fountains. It's very calming. I think this is the first time I've really experienced them, so we're experiencing it together. Nice study spot. Thank you. Do you have a legal hero or icon? Um, honestly, too. My mother's an attorney, and I think she's impeccable in the courtroom. And then also Amal Clooney, because she's married to George Clooney. She does international law, and she's absolutely stunning. Very nice. Would you say the majority of your classmates want to change the world or just be rich? Um, I would say it's 50-50. Loyola does a great job at social justice. Um, but it's also very much a school that wants to prepare you for the bar and make sure you're employed. So it's a 50-50. It's if you could change one thing about your law school, what would it be? Hmm, great question. One thing. I think I would, this is a personal suggestion, I'd make it a little bit more international focused. And, but we really do a great job with like public interest things, uh, being in downtown LA as well, you really experience where you're gonna be working. Awesome. What's the number one tip for success in law school? Like I sort of said before, I think keep your priorities straight. One, always health. If, if you don't have your good health, you're not going to do anything else. And I think as well, exercising. Exercising is huge. Health is wealth, baby. Health is wealth. Um, so what would you say to someone thinking of applying to law school? I would say 100% do it. You, like at least throw the application in there. And then like, don't stress out too much about it, you know? Right before law school, enjoy your life. And then... Think about it and what you can really do with a law degree. What is something you would tell your past self? Hmm, something I'd tell my past self. I think you're doing well, keep chugging along, everything's gonna be all right. Cheers to that. It was so nice meeting you. Any plans for the rest of the day? Mm, maybe I'll try to convince Michelle to play some ping pong with me now. Do you mind if I join you? Of course. Let's go.